It's a BooleyKev.com exclusive. New Nipsey Hustle, check me out. You in trouble, check me out. Pay us now, check me out. Or pay me double, check me out. New Nipsey Hustle, check me out. New Nipsey Hustle, check me out. New Nipsey Hustle, check me out. Nigga, fuck it, check me out. Nigga, fuck it. Coming out of like that that epic situation, because I felt like when you dropped that single with Lloyd, I remember we were we were one of the stations in Vegas that supported it. Um, what did you learn from that experience, being on that major label and and going through that and and getting to where you are now and really embracing the independent movement? What did you learn, man, going through all that? Um, you know, first off, I feel like Epic took a big chance and a big risk financially and just you know, in general dealing with me mm-hmm. and, and giving me the you know the initial push they spent a million cash you know to begin with not to my pocket but on right. marketing on recording and everything it was about a million dollars I spent and I was privileged to be you know inside of the building and I got to see what a major label was and it's like a car it's a system of systems you got your brake system your steering system your acceleration system your cooling system it's just like a, a car a major label got radio promotions they got um, they used to have street promotions yep. Um, A&R department, executive department, business affairs. And so I just got to see and understand, you know, one of the biggest labels, the one that had Michael Jackson, the one that had Sade, the one that had the Eagles. You know, these dudes mm-hmm. serve, um, service music at the highest level in the game. So I got, I got educated by being in the building. And once I, I realized what was going on, even when I was still signed, when they were still pushing, I'm like, man, if I could get, if, if I was indie with this knowledge, and I was the company, and I could have an artist like Nipsey Hussle as my artist, I would be able to do so many cool things, and I would be able to excite the people, and I would be able to really, really change the game. And so at the end of 2009, going into 2010, there was a regime change in the building. You know, the labels play musical chairs, you know, yeah. it would be different people all the time. And the new people that came in, you know, they just didn't have the same vision that the people that brought me in had. And also, I don't think they would have got any credit if I dropped the album and it was successful because that wasn't they called or something. Right, 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 right. And so a combination of those two factors led to us just having a real conversation. We sat down and I'm like, you know, let me let me let me go continue to build if we're not gonna be able to do this with our full hearted belief. Right. And they was cool about it and they gave me a clean release. And that don't really happen with artists that they built to the level I was at at that point. You yeah, like you said, they spent a lot of money on you. Yeah, a absolutely. A lot of times they want to get something back, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's dope. So, you know, I got no bad blood to Epic. I feel like the time wasn't right. It wasn't my time to drop a major project. It was my time to continue to build my brand and, and demonstrate the newfound information that I had soaked up being on the inside of that company. Um, You, of course, there's there was a lot of rumors about a year and a half ago that Rick Ross was interested in bringing you on an MMG. You were on the Self Made 2 project. That joint yeah. was crazy, by the way. Thank you. And uh, uh, I had heard that you had like linked up with Ski on some official, uh, yeah. you know, situation. Yeah. Um, what is what's going on with you now? Like, where are you right now? What, when are we going to get an official Nipsey album that we can go to the store, we can go to Best Buy and, and purchase? Yeah. Um, with, without the hundred dollars, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> um, First and foremost, Rose, you know, he gave me he gave me a big look just by going public and saying that he was a fan. Right. And, you know, he, he had a he had a spot for me on their team and the door was open. You know, they win and they killing the game right now. So, you know, we sat down and talked and again my biggest thing was just retaining equity, retaining some ownership. Yeah. And um, you know, for whatever reasons we couldn't we couldn't come to a situation that that we both felt was, was what we was looking for. But um Again, he put me on the, on, on, on the Self Made 2 project. Everybody from the Maybach camp to show love. So it's like a family thing with me now. When people show love, I give it back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Regardless if we end up doing business or not. Um, or Ski, Ski's my business partner still. You know, we linked up on like a, a unique management situation. Okay. Where, you know, he handled management and also other things like marketing. And, you know, he just, he just my, my business partner and one of my allies in the game. And, um, as far as the official album, you know, we got our company, All Money In, that I'm signed to. And that's my myself, my brother, Black Sam, my other brother, Fats, my other brother, Adam, George Peniche. Um, and so basically, you know, we're going to put the album out. And Victory Lap going to be the debut album. There it is. You know, again, like, we, I had announced a, um, a release date for Victory Lap, you know, at the end of 2012. And, you know, I just saw the defense and I called the audible. 
more than anything. And I know the fans kind of like, you know, we don't accept that. Been waiting for a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I felt it was necessary to start releasing leaks and um, especially this Crenshaw project because I, I feel like I owe the fans a body of work until my business arrangement fully, fully comes to fruition. But I, I just knew I had to just be under public scrutiny in order for this play to work. So I just accepted that role. And at least you keep feeding the fan base.